Everybody, Father Peter here. Welcome to my weekly video log. I'm out in the woods with my daughter Olivia and her new dog Luna that she got from the pound for 55 bucks. You can hear Luna in the distance here. Hey, did you see that the Pope tweeted about my favorite prayer word, Maranatha? Came on December 1st, the first day of Advent. Check this tweet out here. Pope Francis at Pontifex, let us frequently repeat the traditional hashtag Advent prayer, come Lord Jesus. That's Revelation 22, 20, before meetings, studying, work, and before making decisions in the important moments or times of trial. Come Lord Jesus. I love this, this tweet from the Pope, and I love this prayer word, and I love it that it is the prayer for Advent. We're of course in the season of Advent right now. I came upon this prayer word uh, years ago. I had been uh, spending an hour a day breathing, but getting no closer to our Lord. And I kept saying to my spiritual director, what should I do, what should I do? And then there I was in Dick's Sporting Goods in Portland, Maine, trying to get one of my son's fishing reels fixed. And I went over and there was a yoga magazine. I picked it up, opened it up, an article from Father Lawrence from the World Community of Christian Meditation. And what did it say? It said, pray this word, Maranatha. This word Maranatha is a biblical word. It's the last prayer in the Bible, as you can see from its attribution there, the second to last sentence in the book of Revelation. It's right at the end of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. And it's also in the Didache, which is an early Christian uh, catechetical document. So this prayer is a prayer. It was a greeting, kind of like Shalom. Uh, it was an acclamation, come Lord Jesus and a mantra, a mantra being a prayerful word that you can always go to and to lead you into a deeper and deeper union and communion, a deeper silence with our Lord. If you go onto the World Community of Christian Meditation website, what you'll see there is that John Main, who has since deceased, uh, a monk from the Benedictine tradition, in search of deep contemplative prayer, stumbled upon this early church teaching from the so-called early church fathers, I might say fathers and mothers. And there it was, Maranatha as a mantra for prayer. You'll find great teachings on this World Community of Christian Meditation website. Uh, Father Lawrence is the man who now runs it. Beautiful, beautiful human being. And what do they say? But to use this prayer, Maranatha, Maranatha, to just keep coming back to a holy word like Maranatha, and in the stillness, that word will quiet you. But not only just quiet, that word will also bring you to union and communion because it is an Advent prayer, a prayer of the coming of Jesus. It is the prayer of my life, and I suggest it to you because I can tell you over and over and over, people send me emails and say, you know, I heard this word Maranatha from you, and now, I use it all the time. I was going in for surgery, I was scared. I use the word Maranatha. I hate to go to the dentist, I use the word Maranatha. I wake up in the middle of the night, I use the word Maranatha. I walk my dog in the woods, I'm bored, I use the word Maranatha. Become friends and companions with this word and you can become friends and companions with our Lord. So Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, peace and blessings. God bless you, look forward to seeing you again. Take care.